Feral Druid buffs today. So, here's the build I'll be running, and Feral Druid's got a 3% damage buff, which is honestly kind of like, I guess, basically nothing, but it's to everything. Rip, Feral Spite, Feral Frenzy, I'm guessing. Pretty much literally everything. And then the other ones don't really matter as much, except for maybe Brutal Slash, since I, you do use that a lot. Uh, Thrash can kind of help if you're Necrolord, but it's not really, like, you know, gonna be, like, woohoo type of thing, you know? And then I honestly for oh, Primal Wrath, the talent I never even ever have touched. It got buffed as well. But keep in mind, uh, those were all PvE buffs. But since they're PvE buffs, they go into PvP as well. So, Bleeding Holy Priest, that's perfect, I'll take it. Anyways, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be testing out is the Feral Druid buffs today. And it appears we have completely slaughtered their team. Which, it looks like they tried to stop us at Waterworks. Because, I'll admit, it's a smart strategy on this map. Um, if you're Alliance, you kind of have an advantage on this map. You can stop Horde at this um, water here with roots and stuff. So, a lot of people on the Alliance love to do that. And then, Alliance can actually get the flag faster than Horde can. So, I've actually seen that done before. There was a, a Warrior. I think I recorded that video as well. He was running the Triple Leap Legendary. And, he was running Fury, I think, as well for the extra... Uh, heroic leaps as well. He got here faster than anybody and we got the flag before they even reached it. It was crazy. So yeah, Alliance do have an advantage on this map. They also have an advantage on uh, Isle of Conquest as well. But um, yeah, so either way, moral story, back to the Feral Druid testing. It looks like they do have a little bit of an undergeared group. At least it's not like they're super undergeared, but yeah, compared to this point in the patch, <laughs> I'll even show you guys like right now, my idle mobile is uh, 260 now. So, I'm missing 8 pieces of conquest still, because I haven't gotten lucky with my vault. I'm actually, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm like super unlucky, but I'm also super unlucky at the same time, because... If you're like me you and my friend, you completely understand, you don't get a tier piece in the vaults. And currently, Arena is filled with people that love to have the two and four piece tier sets and slaughter you in seconds. And there's literally nothing I can do different. Because the damage is its too much. Especially from um, certain specs. Which I'm sure everybody knows. Hunter, Demon Hunter. I was hoping to get a tier, a tier piece on my Demon Hunter this week, but apparently not. Apparently, I haven't seen this yet personally, but apparently even Guardian Druid's tier set is really broken. So... <sighs> it's just, it's disappointing, you know? Gotta love this fun type of stuff. I, I know the, um, you can craft tier sets eventually, which comes out on, I'm being told April 12th, which I don't know why it's still so far away. People are so, you're either part of the unlucky club like me, or you're part of the super lucky club and got your tier set already. So, some people have one, some people have four, some people have two, regardless, lucky for them. But, uh, yeah, I don't like this system. I really hate this system, I'll be honest. I don't know why they waited so long to actually, uh, you know, crap, uh, wait to crack the tier sets until April 12th. Not to mention that's time gated once that comes out, too, anyways. But, um, yeah. Either way, this is pretty much Feral Trade after the buffs. It was a quick match, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and, um, yeah, Let's see if we can delete this show one more time, maybe. I'm just gonna flush cap, I wonder if he'll interrupt it, okay, he did. Holy freaking cow, these guys. We made him mad. We made him really mad. Well, and there you have it. This was Feral Drain after the boss. I gotta admit, after playing so much Demon Hunter, it feels weird playing my Druid now for some reason. 
This is what happens when you play one tune for so long. Then you completely, like, just feel weird playing other tunes. But Madrid will always be my favorite, so. Um, yeah, that's it for the Feral Druid buffs. They're not really, like, huge, huge or anything, because they feel like the only two worth noticing out of the few buffs were the um, Brutal Slash buff, because that's obviously part of your rotation, and then the 3% damage buff to everything, which isn't really, like, huge, huge, but, you know. Again, they are PvE buffs, though. And, uh, yeah. See you guys later.